Setting off on a 600 light year journey across the universe is no small feat, and fighting enemy alien races and automated robots makes it no easier. Right from the get go, you'll get tossed into heated battles surrounded on all sides. You'll have to rely on cover, quick movements, and your own abilities. If you aren't a Mass Effect fan, you'll have a little trouble getting used to Andromeda's control setup. Here are five tips that should give you a great head start in making the Andromeda Galaxy a great new home for the human race. There's no button to press to drop down into cover when you approach a wall or other piece of cover. Instead, you'll shield yourself behind it by just walking up to it. You can then do a blind spray with your assault rifle by firing. Cover is essential even in the early hours of the game. You won't be able to run and gun, especially once you face waves of enemy reinforcements. Make sure you're always moving from piece of cover to piece of cover. Your jump and dash abilities are incredibly useful. You gain significant air and distance by using them. Sometimes it's far safer and more efficient to move by using them than simply running or walking when in combat. It's also incredibly fun using your jet-propelled jump to fly over the heads of the enemy and then blasting them from behind. You can combine both modes, flying into the air with your propulsion and then bursting forward with a boost like a futuristic superhero. Right off the bat, your assault rifle will have an explosive secondary fire that can be used once before needing a little time to recharge. It's incredibly useful for wearing down the health of tougher enemies with multiple health bars. You can also beef up this ability when leveling up and using skill points, making it more powerful with a shorter cooldown time. The round it fires is semi-heat seeking, meaning it'll hit a target even if you miss slightly. Just make sure to have one target in mind. Ammo is easy to come by with refillable packs all over the place. All you'll need to do is navigate to them safely when you run out of bullets. But if you're caught between an enemy ket and an ammo pack, use your melee weapon to make quick work of them. It's much more engaging and exciting to rush the enemy, taking them off guard. If you spend too much time behind cover or gaining health, they will flank you. A better strategy is flanking them with your secondary fire or your melee weapon, even if you're short on health. You'll always have a few squad mates by your side, customizable once more soldiers join your cause to colonize Andromeda. While you can leave them to their own devices, it's recommended you give them an area to guide so they can guard your flank. Be sure you don't isolate any of them, as if they are taken down, you'll have to revive them yourself. But if you do manage to create a strong perimeter, you'll be free to let the guns blaze on any ket or remnant that comes into your line of sight. Combat in Andromeda is wonderfully satisfying and full of customizable ways to design your own style. Go and experiment, find out what you like to do best, and make the adventure your own. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and share, and be sure to subscribe to be notified of new content. This has been Mac for Game Revolution. Goodbye.